Hey, it's Jason from Two Burks. We're here today almost a year later after introducing our cross tie third member system. We've had this in over a hundred trucks over the last year with great results. Trucks from trophy trucks to ultra fours to daily driven vehicles. And we want to give another quick overview of why our cross tie third member system is so different than any other product that exists. I want to start off with how a traditional third member is constrained so differently than our system. So first, here's a conditional cast iron case. Your gear is mounted to a spool as such and the bearings clamp it from the outside. The bearings sit inside these smooth board pockets and you use the spanner nuts to adjust the lash left or right and also to clamp and provide your preload. So as the gear, the pinion is pushing on the ring gear, it's trying to push it this direction into the bearing in my left hand and pull it out of the bearing on my right hand. There's also a force where the gear is trying to roll the bearing in the cup. As a pinion loads a gear, it tries to roll. So let's look at how the cross tie system constrains this completely different. We designed this like a trophy truck hub. The bearings are actually inverted and clamped from the outside. You can see the case has pockets machined into it to actually register and fully constrain the location of the bearing race. So as this drops into the case, this nut on this side is torqued to two to 300 foot pounds of torque. This is what we call a rotating girdle. So as the pinion pushes against the ring gear, it's no longer pushing on this side of the case, trying to open it up. It's actually trying to draw this cone into this cup directly into the pinion, which is trapped by this heavy cross section. This race is physically held in all directions, radially and axially. So as the gear is pushed away, this bearing on the right side here takes all of the load. And now this bearing only takes a lift load because it's trying to pivot the gear up. Let me show you another cross section on the display we have over here. You can see how the race is captured 180 degrees around on both sides. So this is exactly like a wheel hub on a trophy truck. As the gland nuts are tightened, the spool is a solid spacer. So the harder the gear pushes away from the pinion, it's pulling directly through the roller and into the pinion itself. So this is where we have no type of case deflection, no type of case spread. This, this product is made from aluminum. As aluminum heats up, it typically grows. And in a normal third member system, the bearing races will move further away from the bearing cones. This, the bearing races move into the bearing co cones, increasing the initial preload. So you get an improved rolling resistance on the case. Because our third member is manufactured from billet aluminum, it's 25 pounds lighter than a traditional cast iron third member. There's this large massive window in here that's completely profiled and a smooth contour. So as a ring gear spins, it's unobstructed for oil to pass through and fall into the gear mesh. Every one of our billet third members will accept every Ford nine inch, nine and a half and 10 inch gear made, whether it's a motive, an X-Track, a US gear, gear works, it doesn't matter. They'll all fit this assembly. We also manufacture a high pinion version that also accepts every reverse rotation, nine, nine and a half and 10 inch gear for the high, pin, for the high pinion applications. So this is for your front drive or rear drive. The oil system on this works exceptional you're gonna see these on multiple cars at King of the Hammers this, this week. Notice too, we actually have a, lock, a locker system for this. We manufacture the only 40 spline and larger locking differential. So this will take 40, 45 spline and the jumbo 36 trophy truck axles. It's configured in two different ways. One for bi-directional locking and then it also has internal guts that can be swapped out to a one-way drive system for short course for front application. They're all completely rebuildable, all made from billet components that are heat treated. We feature all ARP hardware. Everything on, on our product 
we tried to just take it to the maximum level.